Hi, this is Shar Kaval from Distinct Property Consultants and today I'm here with Rob Toomey. Hi Rob. Hi. Um, we just wanted to give you an update on uh, where the market is. Uh, it's the time of the month where we are uh, doing our uh, monthly market update. And uh, one of the things that uh, you are probably very much aware of is that uh, mortgage interest rates are rising and you are wondering uh, what is going to happen with uh, the property market and whether there is going to be a uh, dent uh, in, in, in the property market. Market. Uh, we speak to many people on a daily basis and many local people are asking us uh, whether we believe that uh, the property prices will start dropping and what we think that is going to happen. And whilst uh, neither of us uh, has got a crystal ball to predict what the market brings and what uh, the economy brings with what is happening in the world, we have some news that hopefully will put uh, your minds in rest and uh, to give you the update on the property market I'll just hand over to Rob who will tell you where we are over to you Rob. Thank you yeah I think it's true that um, it's going to become a little harder for first-time buyers in certain sectors of the market um, and it's it's obvious that uh, the market's less excitable than it has been in the recent couple of years um, but that's not a bad thing I mean uh, you know I think that the property frenzy that we've had um, can be confusing for people and, and uh, you know, uh, it's hard work, you know, people are unable to, to find what they want or, or getting into bidding wars and so on and so forth. So I, I think, um, you know, a quieting down of the market is not a bad thing. But I think it's wrong to believe that prices are going to go down as a result of the, uh, the current climate. Um, and I think the reason for that is that, you know, um, if we take some facts and figures, um, just at Distinct Property Consultants um, over the last uh, 12 months, we've, um, we're still seeing increased levels of buyer inquiries. Um, and we're up 30% on um, 2019 pre-pandemic. Pre, pre um, but, uh, you know, albeit that we're receiving lower levels of inquiries than we were last year, um, we are still getting um, much higher levels than we were pre-pandemic and I think that's a key point and with property stocks being as much as over 50% lower than they were um, pre-pandemic and pre-stamp duty holiday um, there's still a high buyer demand and a low level of stock and that only means one thing and that's that the prices will continue to go up um, albeit at maybe a more subdued pace um, so um, it's it's a natural thing that you know high demand and, and low stock will, 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 will maintain price levels, um, and you know if we look at um, the figures over the last 12 months UK wise, um, we've seen uh, on, on average house prices 55k rise in prices um, compared to the previous two years pre-pandemic of only 6k. So there's been a massive uplift in in property values over the. Um, stamp duty and pandemic uh, times, um, which has um, had a, a sort of revolutionary effect on the housing market. And the average house price now is in excess of 367,500 across the UK, which is just phenomenal, really. So, you know, I think the general um, story here is that low levels of stock, if that continues uh, with a high demand, prices will be maintained and may continue to rise. Certainly in the Cotswolds, we're still seeing. Um, multiple bids on properties um, when they come to market and uh, we're still seeing high levels of buyer inquiries so um, if you're thinking of selling at the moment and you're worried about downward pressure on prices I don't think there's been a better time to sell and I think uh, you know you need to get us to come out and see you and we can have a chat about um, uh, the way to navigate this uh, uh, slightly different market. Exactly. Well, thank you, Rob. That's been very useful. Uh, and I hope that this will uh, give you a little bit of uh, encouragement. And as you can see from the statistics that Rob has just provided, there is nothing dented about this market. Market, at least in our areas, uh, uh, remains steady and healthy. It's exactly the way we like it. Absolutely. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.